What is up, you? Utsube, I am doing a face swap tutorial on Adobe Photoshop CS6. I'm doing it on a Mac, and it probably won't matter if it's CS5 or CS4 or something like that. But um, you can do it on a PC too, so I am going to jump right into it. So here we go. Uh, first, you want to open your base photo, the photo that you're putting the face on. So I'm going to open a photo of my friend that volunteered to do it to Steven. I'll put a link in the description to him, his YouTube channel. So you want to open the photo like this. Once you have it open, make sure you duplicate the layer like that and it'll say background, background copy. And then you open the one you're taking the face off of, which is me. I am taking like that. Okay. Now you want to go to, not that, but lasso, the lasso tool, and get try the best you can to get it as close as you can to the futures. Um, I'm doing it real quick just because of the tutorial, but just try your best to get it as close as you can, but without touching them. So like this, I mean it still works, so um, I'm just going to circle them like this. Once you have it like that, go to the select tool and move it all the way over to your background. Drop it in like this. It looks kind of silly now, but just wait. Make sure you press Control T or Apple T or Alt T or whatever you your commands are for your computer, and then it'll make you so you can play around with it like this. It's free form, and try to get as best you can to cover up the futures and get it lined up. What if you have to lower the opacity down to 50 and just line up the eyes and nose like this? Um, get as best you can. Um, I'm just doing it as fast as I could for the tutorial, but if you have time on your hands, just try to get as best you can. Um, so that looks all right for me. Um, just make a little make a little tweaks here and there if you have to, like that. What I just did there. So now you have to on your layer one press select pixels and go up to select and then go down to inverse. And then go down back to select, go to modify, expand, make sure you expand by six pixels, then press OK. And then how you have to go back up to select, press inverse again, it'll look like that with the lines a little bit in inner. Uh, make sure you hide the top and bottom layers and you still have the background layer, then delete it. It'll look like that. <clears throat> then unhide those layers that you just did. Now you want to select all the layers. So go to select, press select all layers. It'll look like that. Then you have to go down to edit, auto blend, then panorama, panorama, ugh. press OK, and then it blends it. And now you have your face swap. Um, if you try your best, and I, I did as fast as I could for the tutorial, but if you take your time with it, it'll look a little better. But uh, So there you go. It's my face on my friend's face. Now you can just save it, go put it as your Facebook picture, yada yada, yada do whatever you want. Face swap, yada yada. yada. Alright, so thanks for watching. Uh subscribe, like, comment. I'm I try to put out videos once a day, not tutorial videos like this. If you like tutorial videos like this, just tell me and I'll try my best to put out whatever you guys want. Um but I usually do vlogs, so uh thanks for watching. Make sure you go check out my other videos and I will see you later.